Here it is. Hello, party people. This is Jeremy from Gemini Plays Games, and I'm here to talk about console four. I'm here with Sean Jackman from uh, from CMod. So let's just get right into it. I love this game. This is a uh, kind of a re not reimagining, but it's kind of a reintroduction. Um, CMod got this over. So just kind of tell us a little bit of a story about the game, um, and then uh, get yeah, right to it. Man. For sure. So uh, yeah, this is Council of Four, and uh, you all the players play merchants trying to set up a thriving uh, trading network across. Uh, the kingdom in these three different regions and so uh but no no great trading empire was ever created without greasing some palms so you've got to appease uh the councils uh that sit uh on the board of each of these different uh areas if you want to uh gain the ability to uh to actually build your uh different trading posts so uh at the bottom of each of these different regions we've got uh these uh councils of of four as it were Right. <laughs> and uh, what you have to do to uh, to um, get one of the uh, the building permits is actually appease this council. And the way you do that is uh, by discarding cards. So there's uh, four uh, large actions that you can do. And then there are some minor actions that you can do in the game. So one of the first things that you might do in the game is you might uh, look at the uh, counselors that are on a particular council and decide you want to switch it up a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and you can see, yeah, you can see the ones there. So the first thing you might do is just push uh, one of the councillors off mm -hmm. and they get, uh, you've elected somebody new onto the council there. And so you're going to gain uh, some gold for your, uh, for your hard work, yep. but then you're also going to change up the dynamic, the political dynamic of that particular region. Yeah. And the next thing you might do is you might want to uh, acquire um, one of the uh, one of the uh, business tough, permits. Yeah. yeah, exactly. And so, for example, here we've got uh, a gray counselor, two purple counselors, and a yellow. And I'm short one of those, but I've got a wild, yeah. so I can spend a little bit of money and uh, and pay for the extra. Yeah, now, I think you pay one money or something like yeah, that? Yeah, one money yeah. for the wild. Yeah. Uh, but also, uh, if I was short, uh, if there was just no way I could complete the cost, there are ways that, like say for example, I pay, I had three of the four, yeah. I could pay four gold right. uh, for the one I was short. If I was short two, I'd pay seven yes. gold. And if I only had one, I could pay, uh, I'd have to pay up to 10. Yeah, That's so expensive. it's expensive. Money but comes, is not a big, you know, it's a big deal in this game. So yeah, as you can see guys, this is uh, for if you have all four of the color over here for this council, um, then you you don't have to pay anything. It's just a really good way of explaining. It. If you're one short of the color, uh, if you're too short of the color, you pay that. Um, and also, he, what he's showing here is a whole bunch of player these cards here for the councils. If they they're kind of how they match. But this wild card, you can use it for anything, and you just have to pay one extra. Alrighty. Uh, so you would get a uh, you'd get one of these uh, building tiles. Yeah, thank you. And uh, this is going to allow you, uh, as a major action on another turn, to uh, build in uh, the, the B uh, city, Bergen, as it were, in this, uh, in this particular um, region of the board. And so, for example, when I do that, um, the action would be flipping the tile down. And uh, I would build, a, uh, build uh, my trading post there, represented here. And I would get the reward uh, based in that city but also this is all about building uh, a network of different trading posts as well so anything connected uh, by an unbroken chain, any city uh, bro uh, connected by an unbroken chain of roads would also uh, score me the bonus uh, for that region as well. So I'd score the bonus here and here and here as well. And if I was connected uh, in any other way, I would get those bonuses as well. So that's a major consideration in the game is to like try to set up um, a connected network. However, there are also bonuses for uh, having uh, all of uh, having uh, trading posts in all of one right. region yeah. or in all of one color yeah. of city. Uh, so the decisions, uh, you know, th there are certain decisions which push you towards uh, keeping your network uh, tightly knit. And then there are certain decisions which will push you in different directions. We'll try to spread out your merchants. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah. 
What I found, was, and I've only played a couple times, but what I found out is like sometimes you spread yourself out. You're trying to chase these colors, which I, we'll, we'll talk about in a second. You're trying to get all the all of one color, or yeah, then you're chasing up, trying to fill this all up because the points or you know, points are so big, they get so big. And also, um, he was just talking about this. These little chips here at each location. What happens is is like this pink here. These three areas trigger every time when you add something else to it. So then you're going across these routes. It's big, powerful turns. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, we've got the queen, and she's got her own uh, council. And uh, by discarding cards, uh, you can also pay money to move her around the board. You pay $2 for each road you want her to move on. And wherever she, she ends up, you'll be able to also uh, place a trading post in as well. So sometimes uh, you just can't appease uh, the council of a certain region. So you appeal to the queen and she's going to help you out uh, there as well. So uh, uh, very uh, simple and straightforward yeah. game. Uh, the goal is to get uh, 10 of your merchants out before anybody else. And the first player who does that is going to win the game. Uh, so straightforward game, easy to play, uh, and highly replayable because uh, I, I'm not going to show you right now because uh, we got the board all set up. But if we flip the board over, there's like uh, it's a double-sided board. So as, yeah. as you get to learn uh, one side of the board and some of the strategies for that, you can always flip it over. and. Uh, these reward tiles get put out differently each time you play, yep. so that gives uh, a lot more variety as well. So it, yeah, it incentivizes different routes. You never really play the game the same. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just love that tight design. Thank you for showing that off. That is Council of Four by Simon Games. Stay tuned to uh, jumbleyaplaysgames.com for more coverage of at Origins.